good morning it is saturday june 6 2015 raylene and i are uh, i for totally forgot about uh, uh making a wrap up last night when we got back we did we were too tired we were very tired uh but uh anyway uh we are now leaving the double tree inn here in portland uh maine uh we're making a mad rush for breakfast so we can have our sausage biscuit and egg and cheese biscuit and coffee hash brown and uh, large diet coke with very little ice that's our standard breakfast that's our standard breakfast every morning and then we are going to plunge deeper into the north part. north part of maine yes as we head for Camden, is it? Camden. Camden, Maine. Oh, we, the tall schooner ships. Yes. Hopefully they're in port. Hopefully they will be. And, it's uh, a beautiful little town, lovely town. All right, looking forward to seeing it. And uh, the adventure continues. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're going to the top of Mount McGintocook, too. Mount McGintocook. Yeah. Okay. Mount McGintocook. Mount Cook. Mount Medentacook. Medin what are those? Medentacook. That's it. That's Medentacook. It. Okay. Easier to say than Fort Clarkins. <laughs> Fort Searing. <laughs> However you say 15. Still haven't learned how to say that correctly yet, but I'm still working on it. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, the adventure continues. Stay tuned. in uh, the town of Freeport, Maine, uh, a little tourist area, and the home of L.L. L. Bean. Okay, there's Mr. Bean himself, Leon, Leon Wood Bean, 1872-1967. This is the man who started L.L. L. Bean, the store we're getting ready to go into. And the boot there in front of the store. Yeah, that pornographic boot. It's the boot that started it all. This is the boot. He guaranteed that if your boot will wrap, you could always bring it back. Exchange it. And the guarantee is the good today, so I'm taking back a pair of leather uh, suede moccasins to see if that's true. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to test out the boot theory. There's the boot. That's the boot. 
boot and started it on. This is David inside the area where you can watch the fish come right at you. We're at L.L. Bean. There's a rainbow trout. He's getting a first-hand look, eyeball to eyeball with the trout. Inside the trout tank here at L.L. Bean. Let's zoom in. <laughs> These moose were actually found like this. They were charging each other, horns became blocked, and they died. <coughs> and they were found this way in the state of Maine, and L.L. Bean had them uh, mounted and stuffed in their final charge. Bad way to go, but... For the love of a moose woman. That's right. <laughs> That's a moose woman, not loose woman. Well, that, yeah. <laughs> That's right. There actually is a difference between a moose and a loose woman. <laughs> There's Raylene. <laughs> and we are in the uh, uh, yeah, uh, Linda Bean's main kitchen. Top side tablet. And we're on the second floor and we're actually outside awaiting our sumptuous repast. In the spirit of Anthony Bourdain, I am uh, uh, trying new things here in Maine. And this is the Belfast, what's it called? The Belfast uh, oatmeal. oatmeal ale. 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 Stout ale. Stout ale. It smells like coffee. It smells like it smells like coffee. Yeah. 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 So uh, right cheers, cheers to, to us. Cheers to us. This vantage point we have in this uh, uh, cafe lends a good point to be a voyeur. Let's see what the couple down below us is having. Oh, he's eating a big burger. Yeah, that looks so good. Caesar salad. Looks like it appears to be a glass of maybe Pinot Grigio. The gentleman is having a beer. Oh, thank you very much for letting us uh, intrude upon your lunch. Yes. Thank you very much. Again, Raylene wants to know if that's cornbread she's having with her meal. And I, upon closer examination, it appears to be it could be cornbread, it may be a piece of peach. We, we're not sure. She can 
continues to work on her Caesar salad. Cake, it could be cake as well. She hasn't drunk much of her wine yet. The gentleman is not, huh? That's going to last trouble. Yeah, yeah. And we could definitely take care of that for them. Oh, the gentleman has cleaned his plate. He's with the pickle, though. Oh, no. He, he must have heard me. He just picked it up. Look. He is eating. Oh, he's consuming it now. Yes. Very good. It's a sin to waste a pickle. All right, well. Oh, look at that bite of salad. She's getting ready to... He kind of looks like a dead hoppy toad she's holding there on the heat of her fork. Oh. Yeah. All right, well, couple, we will leave you in peace now. We just want to know if that was cornbread or not. <laughs> All right, Raylene and I are now leaving Freeport, Maine. It's been a wonderful experience. We ate and had lobster rolls. Very good. My first lobster roll ever. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, saw the charging. Oh, you know, be nice here. I was gonna go that way. Everybody's not gonna let me. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> Can be so, adaptable. Yeah. Saw the charging moose and the trout. Yeah, trout. And uh, uh, we thank the couple that let us. <laughs> Use them for Watch surveillance. <laughs> yeah, we don't know who they are, and uh, if one day this uh, this recording should wind up uh, nationwide and they see themselves, then uh, I apologize ahead again uh, ahead for uh, uh, having made sport out of you. But uh, hey, that's uh, smile. You're on candy camera. <laughs>